Hello everyone, my name is Palm Samayoi and we're back with Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting episode 394 Archie. And if you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And this episode's topic, there is no topic, so if you like to recommend me one, as long as it's your name and the topic, you're not too sexual or too inappropriate, then um yeah, I'll make sure that after I've approved it, use it in a future episode, and I'll make sure to credit you in that episode and in the description of that episode. So yeah, just you know, comment or message me or some way that you'll know I'll see your recommendation and I'll see if it's all good to be approved. So yeah. So yeah, honestly, I don't know. I guess I'm just done talking about Pokemon Omega Ruby for the day because I pretty much told you all that I did. I beat one of the trainers. Oh, um, yeah, I wanted to say what's so cool about this design if you've never seen it before. So in the original games, uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, it was literally like you would just go on, um, it was like one of those tile puzzles where it's like the the arrow ones where it shoots you in a different direction and you pretty much had to use these buttons to like change direction. It was like, okay, it's pretty simple. Um, but this one in Omega Ruby, it pretty much, you get a ride along these floating devices that makes you look like you're being like floated across by some kind of psychic force and it's so cool looking. It is so cool looking. And like I said, I defeated the first trainer so far because I didn't have that much time. But I saved right in front of the next trainer, but like I said, the it's so cool. Um, so the only one so far that they have really, uh... Well, yeah, when no one uses gym was like pretty much the same. The, the one in Fortree City, the sixth gym. Um, that one was interesting as well, but it was pretty much like the same thing as before. It was just like the the whole uh, thing, the panels that you walk through are like different looking, that's pretty much it, <laughs> that's literally the only thing that's different I would say that it looks, um, but pretty much the only real big differences that I like was impressed by was um, for the gyms, I would probably say, because uh, Watson was pretty much like the same, I mean it had um, a separate room from like where he was in like there's one in the beginning just so you know like exactly what to do but and then there's like a second one where he was in another bunch of other trainers but it's pretty much not that much different um yeah really the only one right now that I that I'm actually impressed by cuz I would I would say Brawly's gym was really cool too but I haven't even beat all the gyms yet or been all of them I have uh, this one and then course the next one that's the final gym but um so far I'm definitely going to say that Brawly's gym is my favorite just the design and everything the fact that you have to like hold a button to do the light switch and it's like a lot of training equipment and stuff like I said um whatever I think one of those name is Lisa or something like that the seventh gym they're like twin gym leaders, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Because so far, like I said, I haven't even finished that gym. So maybe I'll like find something that absolutely amazing that'll have me love it. But so far, Brawly's gym is definitely my favorite so far. Um, yeah, but that's just my opinion, though. But, uh, yeah. So I guess that would be it. And I also completely forgot to, um, to also, because one of the houses in Moss Deep City had this girl, like, sending off a wingle to somewhere. And I remember this happening in Fortree City, and I talked to her, and it was the one, uh, the guy from Fortree City who sent it out of his house. So I forgot to fly there and see if it's, like, a little side quest, just to see if it, they do anything, if I, like, go talk to him again. So yeah, I just I just completely forgot to do that because I was like squeezing so many things in yesterday because it was like uh, very close to the time uh, to like for me to get ready to go to sleep. So yeah, it was just great. But anyway, it says yeah, like I said, pretty much it for now for what I got to talk about for Omega Ruby for uh, today. So yeah, I guess I'll just um, stop talking for now until I can see, think of something to uh, hold on. I guess I'll stay silent until I can think of something to uh, talk about. That's what I meant to say.
Oh yeah, also, if you're probably wondering why I wouldn't shed sleep, like that means uh, lose sleep rather than lose a day of eating, it's pretty much because, pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> I didn't mean to say much, I meant to say much, it's pretty much because um, you saw how miserable I was when I was like tired, I was like not able to keep my, uh, my uh, posture and all that when I was like holding the candle and all that, and I even like, like a lot of the times I was like super sleepy while recording, so I don't want that, so I'd rather like feel hungry than like feel like I'm gonna just like fall asleep because that's like the absolute worst, um, but yeah, it's just my opinion, like I would rather skip eating than skip sleeping because sleeping is just like what really has your brain going, I know eating helps as well, but yeah, but it's just one or the other, one, of, one over the other, I'd rather like lose a day eating than lose a day of sleeping. It's just my opinion though. Um, but yeah, anyways, so if you're wondering if I had that thought in my head, yes I did, but I realized how uh, absolutely pathetic I am when I am tired, so yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go back to being silent for now.
think I will have to end off uh, just looking at this guy. Uh, yeah, it's way too close to do another one, so yeah. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, if you'd be so kind, support me by donating to my Patreon. As long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course. But feel free to. The link is in the description down below. And I'll be seeing y'all later. I've been your host, Paul Samayoi, and goodbye.